Thank you. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. Ah, hello. How was the day? Good. Good evening, everybody. Okay, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, Fidel. Okay, everybody's coming in. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. <coughs> good evening, teacher. Hi. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Okay, so before we see, because there is another topic, it's a kind of different topic. I just want to, to reinforce this. Uh, comparative. Okay, comparative adjectives. Uh, spelling rule. Okay, so these are. Can you send that document? Oh, yes, of course. But first, I want to. Thank you. First, I want to explain, and then we can add some other ideas, and then after I will finish. Okay, so then we have, for example, the the comparative adjective spelling rules. These are just a, a few and a reminder. Okay, we have the first one says rule one, one of the one syllable adjective. This is what, what I told you yesterday, right? That the majority, the majority, right? Not all. Okay. Of adjective, you only have to add. Yeah. Okay. And this ER. Okay, this ER is the the word more. Okay, this is obviously something that we don't use in Spanish, right? It doesn't exist. Okay, so we have the ER. And that's where you have, right? More. Smart, smarter, it means more. ER. Equal more. Okay, so then you have um, then you have smart. Smart plus ER. Then this is equal smarter. Okay, and this is how we form right the the comparative this is smart more smart okay and the smart is a synonym of intelligent right young younger okay then you also have a, a um, what is the one fast faster yesterday we were talking that for example we can say my we can say my mother is younger okay, than 
my father. Okay. The opposite will be. What would be the other? Old. 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 Okay, so here we're gonna use old, right? Old. Then we're gonna have older. Then we can say the same idea, but now we invert the role, right? You can say my father is older than my mother. Okay. And then this is how we use it, right? This is how we use the, the structure. And here we are using also the word older. So we are using older than to complete the comparison uh, structure, okay? So then this is the majority of the rules. Then you have the other one. Remember what I told you yesterday about the the form, right? That you have consonant, vowel consonant, okay? Wet, consonant, vowel consonant, and then you have also the monosyllable, right? So this is a monosyllable. Okay, it has only only one sound. Okay, for example, wet, big, sad. They said W E T consonant vowel consonant big consonant vowel consonant. Um, Alguien tiene el micrófono encendido, please. Tenemos una interferencia de micrófono. Okay, thank you. All right. So then uh, we have this one. It says wet weather monosyllable, only one sound. And then we have big. Sí, bueno, no voy a hacer que les atiste. Esmeralda, no. Ok. Vamos a ver, sí, porque no voy a hacer que salga algo indebido, ok. Ok, perfecto. Good. Eh, then, teníamos acá la siguiente. Bueno, ¿Estamos bien con estas dos reglas? Yes. Bueno, si les parece una duda, me avisan, ok. Okay. Good. The next one. Okay. The next one is pretty. It's a rule, two syllable adjectives ending in Y. Okay. Uh, it says here pretty. Okay. Aquí se lo voy a separar. Okay. Two syllables, right? Pretty. And then in this case, you change the Y. Okay, you change the Y for I, E, R. Okay. They say change the Y to I. Okay, aquí se hace el cambio, right? And then you have pretty. Aquí se le agrega el E, R. The same happens with happy, happier. Okay, happy and happier. Uh, okay. Then, 
Uh, and the other one is busy this year. Okay, you can say busy, happy, two syllables. Okay, and then we have here these. And they end in Y. Okay, we change it for I E R. Eh, más adelante, tal vez en algún caso, van a ver en algunos casos que van a encontrar more, more happy, tal vez, pero son casos excepcionales y a veces hay eh, exceptions to the rules, right? Aquí no le voy a dar excepciones ahorita porque lo importante es las eh, reglas básicas, ¿okay? para no dar demasiada información, lo importante es afianzar esto ahorita. Ok, the other one is uh, rule adjective for others with two or more. Teacher, excuse me. Sí. Uh, what is the rule for adjective uh, with two syllables, but uh, not, not ending in in J. Aquí está ahorita, la acabamos de ver ahorita, right? It says, for example, a rule adjective or others with two or more syllables. Okay. Not ending in Y. Okay, aquí está, eh? que no terminan en Y. Aquí se usa el more, right? Here we use more. For example, we have pay, famous, famous, okay? Two syllables. Famous. This one has three. Let me see. Three interest. Interest. Yes. In. Press. Interesting. Okay, that's what it says. Two or more syllables. Then you say more. Care. Who late. More careful. Okay, in these cases, uh, we are going to use, for example, we have a uh, hand some. Okay, you can say more handsome. Okay, another one. Beautiful. Beautiful, thank you. Beautiful. Okay, so you have you, three, or beauty, four. So you have three syllables. Okay, in this case, we're going to use more. We're going to say more beautiful. Okay, so this is the rule when they have two. Or more syllables, not ending in one. Okay, and the other one is the irregular ones. Okay, the irregular ones. Estos son no hay regla. Okay, esto solo hay que memorizárselos porque no hay una regla que diga los que terminan en d, los que terminan en r o r o less. It's just a just the way that they do it, right? So good, for example, is better. Okay, que sería como decir more good, right? That would be like saying more good, but it's not um, it's not correct in English. So I say good, better. Bad, okay, and you say worse. Okay, you can say, for example, this is bad, but this one is worse. Uh, I don't know, probably if you watch, uh, a TV series that you don't like, you say, uh, the season one, the la season one of uh, X program, okay? That was temporada uno de, de programa X, that season one of, uh, let's say, uh, X program was bad. But the second season is worse, okay? It's more bad, okay? So then that you don't like, okay? Uh, then you say, for example, the, you say the season one was good, but the season two is better. Okay, so that depends on what you like. Or the movie, for example, when there is a sequence of movies, okay, then you can say, hey, Rambo one was good. Rambo two was better, but you know, Rambo three was bad. 
the Rambo 4 was worse. And then you start, you know, changing the, your adjectives. Okay, far is for distance. Okay, when we talk about far, we talk about distance. Okay, you can use, for example, when you say uh, Santa Ana is, well, depends on you. If you are in San Salvador, okay, you can say Santa Ana is far, right? 60, 60 kilometers, right? Santa Ana is far, but San Miguel is farther. Farther. Right? Because from San Salvador to San Miguel is like 160, maybe. 160 kilometers, right? Then from San Salvador to Santa Ana, 60. From San Salvador to San Miguel, like 160 more or less. Okay, so that would be Santa Ana is far, but San Miguel is far. And usually farther with you. Okay, when you have farther with you, that is the difference. You use it with information. Okay. For farther, for further information. Okay, check uh, the website. Okay. Es como tardío. No. Uh, for further information, like will be for mayor or more. Okay, for more like, information. Like an extra information. Mm -hmm. Okay, para mayor, para más, right? Okay. You can say for further information. Okay, so then this is with a U. Ahí, aquí si no van a usar el, la A, right? For further information, no. This with the one with the U. Okay, for further information, check the website. Or oh, for further information, check our website. For further information, okay, call one a okay one a hundred okay zero 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 six okay one two three four five six okay so this is not these are the some of the rules when we are using the the comparative rules. Okay, eh, these are not the only ones, no son las únicas, más adelante van a haber otras. En el sentido de las, tal vez de las, eh, how can I say, de las, eh, how do you call, the exceptions, las excepciones que existen, right? Because there are some. Okay, but in this case, this is sufficient, enough. Okay? Yes, eh, se lo voy a poner en... En PDF ahorita, para que no se vaya a desconfigurar y ahorita se los pongo en el WhatsApp. No problem. All right. Good. No questions in this moment? Oh, yo creo que no se desconfigura. Se lo voy a poner, se los voy a mandar así quizás en Word para que ustedes le agreguen ejemplos. Ok, aquí pueden ir poniendo ejemplos en este mismo documento, extenderlo con objetivos que ustedes vayan encontrando, right? Y así van haciendo su, digamos, como un glosario, right? A glossary of uh, adjectives and comparative. Ok, solo ven que apliquen esta regla. Y ustedes lo pueden ir extendiendo. Ok. Ok, before... Anything else happens? Okay. 
One more second, one more second. What is your group? Is yeah, here. Okay, there you go. Okay, I sent it already. And aprovechando, te voy a tomar la foto de la asistencia, right? Here, it's going to take the picture for the attendance now that we're here. Let's get a few. Ready, here we go with the first shot. Okay, this is the first one. Is the other one? One more. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Okay, good. Now we have the. Okay, so that's the topic. You know, talking about comparatives. Now we're going to continue talking about the stores and shop things, shopping, products, but now we are going to see something else. For example, what are these things made of? This is the important thing here, right? What is this made of? For example, just a, identify the products that some of these uh, things are uh, made of. And then we can use different things. Okay. For example, if we have a if we have a a computer, what is a computer made of? It's very difficult sometimes to to identify all the material, right? All the materials that a computer the computer has. Unless unless you are an engineer in systems or and that you know the all the things that a computer contains, right? But for example, I know that uh, because I have heard that okay, the computer has plastic, okay, rubber, caucho, maybe, right? A uh, copper, cobre, uh, what else? A uh, gold, I think of the other one. I have some gold, uh, what else? Uh, uh, aluminum. Aluminium, okay, aluminium. Uh -huh. Okay. What else what else can you find? Acero. Okay, iron. iron. Yes, iron. And what else? Silicon. Okay, <laughs> silicon? Fiber. 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 Okay, good. What else? Okay, so these are you know materials, right? Uh, I mean, we don't have you don't have to know everything, but uh, for example, the liquid liquid gas maybe something for the screen, right? So the some things that they have, and and this is for example, what about a car? A car has what? Cars. Mm -hmm. Steel. Steel. The bumpers, plastic, right? Plastic, yeah. Plastic okay. and fiber. Plastic and fiber. A uh, glass fiber. Glass fiber. Uh, the the wheels. What are the wheels made of? The four Ruber. wheels. Rubber. 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 Uh huh. Rubber. That's the material. Rubber. Very good. What else? Uh -huh. Aluminium. Aluminium too, right? I have a lot of aluminium too. Plastic. A lot of plastic. Glass. Iron. 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 Yes. Iron. Vidrio. Vidrio. Glass. 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 Uh -huh. okay. glass. glass. Yes. They have glass. They... And then they have also the iron. Okay. Remember that when we use the word 
I'm going to write here in the chat. Because I, okay. Uh, usually in Spanish we say Iron Man, right? Para la competencia o para la movie. Wow. But the pronunciation is Iron. Iron. Algo así. Iron. 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 Okay. The, es lo mismo que la plancha. Right? Iron. Okay, so you say the iron. Where is the iron? I have to iron my clothes. Iron my clothes. You say iron me. Okay, we don't use iron. All right? So this is a tip. A tip for the pronunciation. Okay, good. No questions in this moment? Good. Now let's look at the pictures, images that we have. All right. What are these things made of? Okay, the question can change, right? Here is in general, what are these things made of? So you can say, for example, what is your shirt made of? What is your house made of? More specific, more uh, personal question, right? What is your, uh, what are your earphones made of? Okay, uh, what, what are your, <laughs> this is funny. What are your glasses made of? Uh, Glasses is just a little bit longer, right? Because this is no glass. Okay, this is that has a very strange name, polyurethane or something like that. Uh, even in Spanish, Polycar uh, polycarbonate. Carbonate, polycarbonate, right? So it's a uh, yes, polycarbonate. Thank you. Okay, so then uh, things change, right? Uh, before, long, long time ago, they were made of glass. Okay, they were made of glass. They were more heavy, right? They were heavier. They were heavier, okay, heavier. Uh, because, uh, and now with this uh, polycarbonate, you know, like, uh, uh, said, Nesto, right? Yeah. Uh, said, for example, this is lighter. So it's very light. Uh -huh, light. It's light, 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 lighter. lighter. Mm -hmm. It's lighter. Okay, good. Then uh, what are your glasses made of? What uh? What is your house made of? What is your car made of? What is your motorcycle made of? What are your shoes made of? Okay, what is your watch made of? And then you can use that. Then you have here some material, cotton, okay, uh, rubber, gold, wool, gold, gold, silk, okay, yeah, wool. silk, silk. Leather, silver, plastic, and wool. Wool. Wool, yes. Remember that esta I that you see here is in English is silk. No silk, como la español, silk. right? So, silk. Silk. Una, una I relajada, right? We say e, e. Se relaja los músculos, right? And we say so. So, leather, silver, silver, plastic, and wool. No problem with this vocabulary? No problem. With silk, oh, what silk is the meaning? What, what is, is the meaning? meaning? Okay, yeah. do you know what a worm is? Ya saben que hay un gusano. Ah, se te llama worm, silk worm, que de ahí sale esta. Yes. Es la seda, right? Yeah. Okay, so it's very special, very soft, very soft. And very expensive, okay? It's a lot of money, okay? Teacher, so, teacher. Yes, yes where is the meaning? Where is the meaning of rubber? Rubber is a uh -huh. caucho. Caucho, okay, uh -huh. teacher. Okay. Como las llantas del, llanta del carro, right? They have made uh -huh. of rubber. Uh, now in the soccer field, in los campos de football synthetic, okay, synthetic uh, football field, que bien le ponen lo negrito que se ve ahí, es rubber. Rubber, yes, teacher. Uh -huh. Rubber, all right. In La Delicia. Exactly, that's correct, right? So that's uh, here in my house too, here behind that. Okay, what else? Another one, gold. And then you have bracelet. Okay, a bracelet is a piece for, for your arm, okay? For example, this is the bracelet. The, uh, the general thing is the watch. Okay, you have the watch, but only this part, only this part is 
the bracelet, okay? Then you have the ring, okay, when you get married. What is the material of the ring? Gold. Gold. Gold okay. and Good. silver. Gold uh -huh, or silver too, right? Gold or silver. In this case- Or iron. Or iron, yes. In this case, because of the color and the material, we can say it's gold, right? Uh, but sometimes, gold. Uh -huh, sometimes it's gold, sometimes it's silver, and sometimes it's iron. Yes, it's true. Uh, what about the tie? The material, the, what is the tie made of? Silk. Silk. Made of silk. silk. Okay, no. good. No. What about the socks? What are the socks made of? Wool. 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 They are made wool. of wool, right? Wool. It's for cold weather, for cold weather. And the jacket? What is the jacket made leather. of? Leather. Leather. Made of leather. Okay, made of leather. Uh, what about this? the shirt? Cotton. Cotton, cotton right? It's made of cotton. Cotton. Yes, it's made of cotton. And the earrings? Silver. Silver. Silver earrings. Yeah. And the last one, the boots. Rubber. Rubber. Rubber, Rubber right? Yeah. And now this one's, these are the colibri, okay, the colibri boots. Okay, then so for example, I'm made of rubber. Especially for winter. Okay, for winter and probably in the snow, also they can come. Okay. No problem with the vocabulary? Then we have, for example, the bracelet is, in this case, is plastic, right? Plastic. We have this plastic, a plastic bracelet. Then we have a gold ring. Or Tell me. The tie. Silk. Is made of silk. Uh, here it says a socks, but here should be Ooh. 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 yes. And uh, aquí no debería de nada. Aquí debería estar solo. Solo debería decir wool socks. Okay, porque es plural. Okay, so okay, un error. The next one. Ah. Uh, Leather, 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 leather jacket. Okay, the next one is cotton, 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 cotton shirt, earrings, silver. Okay, and rubber, rubber. Okay. Very good. Oh, wait. My great. Vamos a ver mi nota. Okay, good. Me saqué otro día. Very good. Thank you very much for your participation. Okay. And these are the, the, good, the correct answers, right? So I guess that if you have any questions about the, the platform in this exercise, I think it's it's, uh, let me see, just vocabulary and materials, right? Now, we're going to practice a little bit. Okay, for example, using the, okay, in the chat, uh, you are going to write some sentences, okay? What sentences? For example, I have, you can write, I have a, a what? I have a, a cotton, a, let's say a cotton t-shirt. Okay, I have a cotton t-shirt. I have, a, what else could it be? I have a gold, um, a gold watch. Okay, it, it doesn't have to be true, right? Uh -huh, like for example, like that one, you know, Brian wrote there, I have a cotton t-shirt. Okay, and you can also write, um, I have a, 
a polyester uh, polyester uh, what a shirt a polyester tie okay think about a a piece of garment una pieza de de vestir right and the material no tiene que ser cierto right you can use silver gold uh, cotton uh, what else uh, you can use rubber uh, you can also use plastic okay anything okay write about uh, think about a sentence and write it write it there in the chat and we are going to read them okay de todas las que se les ocurran o que les vengan a la mente practicing the vocabulary that we have on the platform I have a leather hat. Okay, very good. I have a denim. Oh, very good. A denim, a denim short. Esa palabra está bien. Eh, Fátima, denim es para los eh, material de las de los jeans, right? For example, I have a silk blouse. Eh, ¿Cómo traducen? Aquí se dice lona, verdad, para los jeans. But uh, they also have. Uh, how do you call this? Eh, mezclilla, right? This is, no sé en qué país, pero a veces uno lo buscan en el diccionario y lo van a encontrar como mezclilla. Okay? I have a cotton, sh uh -huh, cotton shorts. Remember that shorts, pants is plural, right? Then you can also use, okay, very nice. You have a lot of sentences here now. Okay. I have a silk gown. Hey, eh? very good. A silk gown. Very nice. Eugenia, very good. I have plastic boots. Okay. My wedding ring is silver. Very nice. Very good, Andrea. Do you need some rubber boots? Double O, very good. My pants are, okay, look at this one. You can also say my pants are, are made of, made of uh, silk. También pueden usar esta estructura. Mis pantalones están hechos de seda, right? No problem, very good. So we can use different forms, okay, to use the vocabulary. My pants are made of, I have a plain gold ring. Okay, very nice, Edwin, nice. So the plain is, así sobrio, right? Sin tanto adorno, right? Plain gold ring. Nice, most of good vocabulary. I have some gold earrings, nice. I have a wood crab, hey, wood crab sandals. Very nice, Elena, okay. Good crafts, they are como artesanales, right? Handmade, hechas a mano. I have some gold earrings. I have a cotton sweater, very good. I have a silk skirt, excellent. My wool pants are beautiful, good. Bien calientitos también. Right, then you have my wool pants are beautiful. I love my cotton dress, okay, good, and clean. Excellent. Okay, more ideas, more ideas. My necklace is made of steel. Okay, Fatima, it's made of steel. I have a wool sweater, okay. Two more, two more. I have a leather, I have leather heels, uh -huh. I have leather heels. I have a uh, wooden sweating dolls. Oh, really? Okay. Wooden sweating, okay, that's made of wood. Okay, good. Uh, her bracelet is made of silver. My teacher has, uh, my teacher has lace. A lace, a lace, I need one. My boxers are made of cotton. Okay, good. I have a silver bracelet. Lace, good. Uh, 
place is like uh, encaje. Uh -huh, encinta, yes. Uh -huh. Yes, very good. No problem. I have a silver bracelet. I have a gold necklace. Okay, good. Yes, cotton. Okay, very good. Now I see that you have a lot of uh, a lot of ideas. Oh, you have oh, so many. My daughter, my daughter has a silver necklace. Wow, you have many many ideas. I have a cotton t-shirt, I have a cotton t-shirt, I have a leather, leather, I have leather shoes, I have leather boots, uh, she has, she has a spandex leggings, okay, good, she has a spandex leggings, uh, I have some leather shoes, I have leather hat, I have a uh, denim shorts, okay, I have a silk blouse, I have rubber shoes, I have a, yes, very good, excellent. My daughter has silver necklace, very nice. Okay, people, I see that there are no questions. I have a leather, a leather wallet, okay, yes. The wallet, you know, where we put the money. Hey, I have a leather wallet, hey, his car, his car has, right? His car has aluminum wheels. Okay, the, the rims, right? The rims, the rims, right? Those are aluminum. Remember the wheels are rubber, are made of rubber. Okay, the other one is, I have a tile fountain in my garden. Okay, good. I have a plastic cell phone. Yeah. I need to buy one, le uh, one uh, I need to buy some. Instead of buy, uh, one, you can write some leather pen. Okay, and that's it. Okay, just give me one second because the, the rain is coming. Viene la tormenta y me está abriendo las cortinas. Give me a second. Okay, sorry. Vamos a salir volando todos aquí with the with the wind. Okay, thank you. All right, so then we have the my cotton pajamas uh, in plural. Okay, in plural, my cotton pajamas are are warmer, right? In pajamas, pajamas are. Hey, that's nice. Okay, good. Hello, teacher. Yes, hello. Se le fue el inter al teacher. No me pueden escuchar. You're freeze. Yo, yo veo que me estoy moviendo. No me ven. Hello, hello. ¿Me escuchan? Alguien que se anima a echarse un chiste, pues. Ok, hello, hello, hello. Ya regresé. Hoy, ok, hoy, teacher. Hoy fue la luz la que no pagué, entonces fue un bajo. <risa> ya pagó la, el, el, el router, anyway. Ok, but here I am. Good. Then, uh, let me check. No questions. So in the chat, everything is perfect. So no problem about the material, right? Then we're going to go to share. Uh, okay, it's using clothes or fabrics? Fabrics. Okay, when you're going para hablar de telas, it's better if you use fabrics. Fabrics, thanks. Yes, uh -huh. yeah. fabrics. Okay, good. Now let's see the next one. Uh, Astrid, can you please read this, uh, add uh, this objective here? 
Okay. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to comprehend and use comparative adjectives. Excellent. Okay, very good. Then, teacher, where is, where is the meaning? The meaning compre, compre have, have. Under, understand. A, uh, but let's say that it's a little bit more, right? Like when you say comprender y entender, understand. Es, entiendo, comprehend es comprendo. Es como que un poquito más, right? It's comprehend. Comprehend. Mm -hmm. Comprehend. Exactly, comprehend. Okay. It's like when you say comprehend. Comprehension. Thank you. Thank you for understand, your offering. Uh -huh. Understanding. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thanks. All right. Then the next one is a video with a comparison, comparison with adjectives. Okay. Here you would see cheaper, nicer, prettier, bigger, stylish. Okay. The spelling rules. Okay. To express preferences in English as well as to compare. Let's see. Preferences. Comparisons with adjectives. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one. Which one do you like better? I like the leather one better. Which one do you like more? I like the leather one more. That one is cheaper than the wool one. This one is nicer than the wool one. The leather jacket is prettier than the wool one. It looks bigger than the wool one. It's more stylish than the wool one. Spelling. Cheap. Cheaper. Nice. Nicer. Pretty. Prettier. Big. Bigger. To express preferences in English, we may say, I prefer, I like. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one. Which one do you like better? I like the leather one better. When we want to compare, we use the adjective in its comparative form. We use adjective plus er plus than. Small, smaller than. This dress is smaller than the other one. I recommend for you to study the adjectives in English in its comparative form, so you're able to compare anything you want. I also want you to work with this, cheap, old, and new. These are adjectives. Find out its comparative form and make comparative sentences using these three adjectives. Write them down in a discussion box. Okay. Wool one. It looks bigger than the wool one. The leather one more. I prefer the leather one. Comparisons with adjectives. Just listen to the pronunciation, okay? And intonation. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one. Which one do you like better? I like the leather one better. Which one? Okay, just remember here, which one do you prefer? This is when you already have the options, right? Uh, I prefer the leather one. Which one do you like better? Or which one do you like more, right? So this is what I told you yesterday. Say, which one do you like better? I like the leather one better, okay? That's the form that you are going to use, okay? El more no is very commonly used. Do you like more? I like the leather one more. That one is cheaper than the wool one. This one is nicer than the wool one. The leather jacket is prettier than the wool one. It looks bigger than the wool one. It's more stylish than the wool one. Spelling 
Cheap. Cheaper. Nice. Nicer. Pretty. Prettier. Big. Bigger. And then you have big and bigger. To express preferences in English, we may say, I prefer. I like. Which one do you prefer? I prefer the leather one. Which one do you like better? I like the leather one better. When we want to compare, we use the adjective in its comparative form. We use adjective plus er plus than. Small, smaller than. This dress is smaller than the other one. I recommend for you to study the adjectives in English in its comparative form so you're able to compare anything you want. It's er okay, plus than leather one better. This one. When we want to compare, we use the... Okay, I like or I prefer. Uh, for example, we're going to talk about food. Okay? We're going to talk about food, and I can say, for example, I like pizza better than chicken. Okay? Um, I prefer... I prefer uh, ice cream better, better than, let me see, better than, than brownies, okay? I prefer, uh, I prefer ice cream better than brownies. Oh, I like, I like the ice cream better than brownies. Now think about a sentence of something that you like, okay? Me levanta la manita ahí en el, con el icono, right? Y lo vamos a hacer esta vez oral, right? No written. But remember, I like or I prefer. But you can talk about food, pueden hablar de food, pueden hablar de carros, right? Eh, I like uh, Ferrari better than Toyota. Or I like Toyota better than Ferrari. Okay? Eh, you can say, for example, also you can say uh, Toyota is better than Nissan. Or Nissan is better than Toyota. It depends on your, is your opinion, right? I prefer Honda uh, than, what is the other one? Than, than Kia, right? Or oh, I prefer Kia better than uh, Honda. So you can use, uh, I prefer, uh, okay, Fidel, tell me. Yes, I, I want to, to remember how you say Eh, bosque, wood, ¿verdad? Wood, eh, wood, or forest. Ah, okay. Okay, woods or forest. Okay, the forest is better than beach. Yes, okay, very good, nice. The forest is better than the beach. Okay, that's a good one. Okay, use comparatives. You can also say, for example, the beach is more expensive than the woods. Okay, Eugenia Edwin. I prefer Chinese food better than Mexican food. Okay, excellent. Edwin, then Brian. I prefer, I prefer fish better than meat. Excellent, very good, me too. Okay, Brian. I, I like soccer better than baseball. I agree with you, excellent, very good. Daniel. I prefer English class better than math class. Okay, excellent. Me too. Okay. <laughs> All <Duncan>. right. Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Ernesto. Oh, that's excellent, Daniel. Very good. You have a 10. Okay. <laughs> okay, teacher. Thanks. Okay. Uh -huh, Ernesto. I prefer TV series more than CC soap operas. Okay, that's good. Okay, yes, that's right. I prefer uh, TV series more than soap operas. Very good. Okay. Uh, Fatima. Go, Virginia. I prefer coffee than tea. Okay, great. Yes, you've got some good Salvadorian. Me too. Yes, coffee is better than tea. Okay. <laughs> Anybody else? Okay, good. Practice. Uh, Anna, Anna. Okay, Anna Rebecca, go ahead. I prefer Coca-Cola better coffee. Better than coffee. Okay, good. Excellent. 
Ah, but you can now try the, 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 the combination. La Coca-Cola de café que ha salido, right? Coffee, Coke, or something like that. Pruebe, okay? Okay, maybe you will like it. Uh, Hilda, tell me. I prefer dogs than cats. Okay, I prefer dogs to cats. But you have a cat. Okay, good. One more, one more. Okay, Edwin, do you have another one? Hello, Edwin? Okay. I prefer vacation. Dan, dan, dan. No. No, Henia, can you hear me? Studying music is better than present music. Okay. Uh, can you repeat that one, please? About the music? The seventies, the seventies music is better than present music. Yes, that's right. Okay, now the seventies music is better, better than current music. Okay, that today's music. Yes, I agree with you. Excellent. Eighteen, I'm nineteen. Okay, can you repeat, Brian? Yes, that's right, man. Yes, right now, the, the connection is a little bit. Sure, you are a, a robot. Yes, así oigo yo. Yo me oigo bien y Okay, good. Can you hear me now? <laughs> okay, can you hear me better? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, it's, it's a fight. Okay. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Daniel, uh -huh. that mentioned a, uh, a joke. A joke. Now oh, it's a joke. What is a joke? <laughs> Daniel? ¿Cuál era la broma? He'll tell a joke. Ah, okay. He's going to tell a joke. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. What's a joke? <laughs> Okay, it has to be a, a joke. Okay, okay uh, well, so then I guess that uh, there is no question, right, with the comparatives. Alguna pregunta, duda? Sobre los comparatives. No? Okay. Uh, it's clear. Okay, perfect. So Teacher, uh, I have a, a commentary. Uh -huh. Teacher, yeah. you send the, the document with the rules of the comparatives to the WhatsApp group. Yes, I did. I did. Ahora, si no me ven es porque sí se fue la luz, así literalmente. Okay. No es que me haya apagado la cámara. Esta ha sido, esta ha sido la noche de pueden hacer. Mire, primero la, el internet, luego la luz, ahora otra vez la luz. Me quedé en oscuro. Okay. Solo, solo a reírse, vamos a ver si está ahí, dicho. Sí, miren, vamos a, eh, ¿cómo es que se llama? Voy a hacer una cosa, voy a, voy a hacer una teletón para que me ayuden a apagar la luz. Ok. Because... <risa> para que vean, aquí estoy. <risa> 
sorry, teacher. Because okay. a beer, a beer. Here I am, right? <laughs> okay. So you can see that. Se juega como que fuera fantasma, like a, like, no, like a ghost. Ok. <laughs> no, eh, solo les recuerdo yeah, wow. que por favor no, eh, no se les olvide llenar la, la plataforma. Este, voy a revisar mañana notas y ahí les voy a estar avisando quiénes van atrasaditos, ¿verdad? Para que el viernes, el, recuerden que tienen que llenar el, el, hasta el midterm, ¿ok? Eh, mañana vamos a terminar este... Teacher, ¿hasta cuándo se puede el examen? Eh, mire, no han puesto... El examen de la sección 3, ¿hasta cuándo se puede hacer? Viernes o más tarde, creo que el viernes o más tarde. No Hasta mañana. No, ajá, jueves, pero todavía el viernes. Mm. Mañana. Bueno, vale. Teacher, pero este, como les digo, cualquier duda que tengan, me la pueden teacher, hacer. Mañana. La, plata, la plataforma, ¿hasta cuándo va a estar disponible? A eso hasta que terminemos el curso, ¿verdad? que es el, creo que es el 10 o 12, si mal no recuerdo. Esta es la segunda semana. Nos quedan dos semanas más. Este... Pero, este, pero no se atrasen con, o sea, ten, para mañana tenemos que tener... Una lleno, semana más. Dos, dos. Pero para mañana tendríamos que tener lleno la sección 1, sección 2 y sección 3. Las, eh, las tareas que están ahí. Y hasta el examen, que creo que son cinco tareas las que hay. De las que hemos estado haciendo nosotros ahí, de las que me he sacado bien yo, con la ayuda de ustedes. Y, y luego hacer el midterm, que, que lo vamos a ver... Eh, mañana una parte para que ustedes va, para ver si no hay ningún error o algo ¿no? o alguna duda teacher la plataforma solo va a estar habilitada una semana más no no dos dos más ok ah, porque esta, esta es okay. son cuatro semanas del curso esta es nuestra segunda semana ahorita mañana terminamos la segunda y nos quedan dos semanas más Okay, pero hay que meterle. Lo que pasa es que no podemos quedarnos rezagados porque ya después se acumula y cuando les pidan ya, la, cuando ellos pasan a sacar las notas, si no han llegado al 80%, no les van a aprobar el curso. Entonces, por eso hay que ir, ir llenando, digamos, como que diariamente ¿verdad? Las, las, eh, la plataforma. ¿Preguntas? ¿Dudas? Ok, consultas ya saben, ¿verdad? Me las pueden hacer en, en el WhatsApp eh, si no, y para que hagan su tiempo también para llenar el, los ejercicios. Ya vieron que no es tan difícil es lo que hemos hecho, pero si tienen alguna duda, pues ya saben que ahí estamos a la orden. Ok, people, have a very good okay, night. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Disculpa del caso por todos teacher. los chicos. Bye. 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 Ok, good. Eh, por la sección 4. Ok, Fátima en Brasil. Very good. Excellent, no problem. Ok, no, teacher. No good night. Good night. Ok, bye bye. Good night, good night, good night. Good night.